From the edge of the Atlantic Ocean here in Jacksonville, Florida, welcome to Studio 90. For the first training camp of the year, head coach Tom Sermani has called up two players who played major roles in the United States winning the 2012 FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup last fall. Defenders Crystal Dunn and Julie Johnston, who each have a year of college eligibility remaining at UNC and Santa Clara respectively, received their first call-ups to the full national team. How is it to go from watching your heroes to playing with them in a span of six months? We sat the two rookies down to find out about their experiences so far. It was definitely unexpected when I got the call um, about coming with the full team, um, but very blessed, like I'm honored to be here. Um, I'm learning a lot and I couldn't have asked for a better opportunity. It did seem like, you know, the full national team was a lot further away than, you know, I thought. But I mean, I'm at this camp and it, it's been great so far. And I think using those experiences that I had in the past with the 20s is a great preparation for being here. With the U20 teams, um, I think I gained a lot of confidence as a player. I learned a lot from each player individually and the coaching staff. Um, playing internationally definitely challenges you in many ways, but at the same time, knowing that like I was able to accomplish what our team did um, gives, gives you a sense of confidence as a player, I think. Working with just a World Cup 20 level, it's preparation just because, you know, you're playing with all these players across the country and, you know, you're getting a feel for all these new players and then coming into this environment, everyone's from different areas and, and different backgrounds, and I think the environment is pretty much similar in that sense. I was a little nervous. Um, I think anyone would be uh, being with the full team and seeing what they've done in the past World Cup and Olympics, but I have a good outlook. I, I'm here to learn. Um, I mean, I love the sport and no better team to learn it from than the U.S. national team. I just really want to see where I'm at and, you know, I, I really have nothing to lose in this environment. I mean, I'm just going out there trying to, trying to play to my best ability and uh, I'm trying not to be nervous, but I mean, it's a little difficult being on the field with, you know, Abby and Alex and, and those type of players. And I think just to keep them back in my head, just to, you know, go out there and just play the game that I've been playing for a while now. I was starstruck. I mean, I still am. It's funny when I'm just having casual conversation with someone where two weeks ago I'm watching them on TV or something, wanting to go up and get their autographs. And here I am playing with them, passing around, talking, having normal conversations. I was going to think about asking them for, for an autograph, but I was like, ah, is that a little embarrassing to do? So I just, you know, thought maybe I should just take creepy pictures of them from behind. I was like, do I take pictures of them? She goes, no, 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 do it from behind. <laughs> then they won't know, but you'll have it. And then she's like, and then, then it's more authentic because it looks like they weren't ready for it. I was like, oh, okay. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> I look up to pretty much every single player on this team just because, you know, they're here and, and they've been consistently coming into these camps and they just came off the Olympic, winning the Olympic gold medal. And I think, you know, there's not, it's hard to pick out one particular player because there's so many pieces of this, this whole thing that comes together that, you know, it's everyone is a, is a big piece of it. Going up against the uh, Abby Wambachs, the Alex Morgan and all the big names, it's, it's a lot to take in, but then again, at the same time, um, it's a great opportunity. They're making me better, and um, I'm learning a lot from them. The trainings have been great. I mean, they're you know they're they're intense. Like I said before, they're you know everyone is so crisp with their touches and their passes that uh, that's what brings the intensity level up. But I think they're definitely doable, and 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 the girls have been great. They're 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 really supportive. You know, if I make a mistake, they're they're not getting on me. They're they're more so encouraging me to you know do better next time. And I think that's that's the best environment that I'd like to be in. That's it for this edition of Studio 90 from Jacksonville, Florida. The USA kicks off the centennial year on Saturday, February 9th at Everbank Field against Scotland. You can watch that match live via video web stream on ussoccer.com at 5 p.m. Eastern time. As always, fans can follow along on ussoccer.com's match tracker and on Twitter at ussoccer underscore WNT.